up YouTube and Rachel players? Welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. Yeah, for the subscribers that missed it, I immigrated to Germany and I'm currently still renovating my new home. And I have a lot of work to do, but I still visit the Netherlands from time to time. And when I do, I make sure that I hit those thrift stores. And that's the reason why you're gonna watch a new episode of Hunting and Thrift Stores, part 31. <laughs> and I'm very happy with the pickups this time around. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys soon in another video. I want to start this episode with a dedication, a love letter to all the lonely games in the thrift store. Like this Call of Duty game, for example, and all those other ones that are just lonely. Ten euros for a brain training or big training DS game? Are you people absolutely mad in the thrift store? Mod Nation Racers for the PlayStation 3. I've never seen this game before. I never heard of it before. <clears throat> Talk about lonely and misplaced. Here we have a PlayStation 2 demo disc. You never see these anymore and I'm kicking myself for not picking it up. I left it, I forgot about it, I saw the footage and like, oh yeah, oh well. <sighs> well, hey, look at this, a Disney Blu-ray. It's not a video game, but for one euro, I'll, s <laughs> I'll happily pick that one up. <clears throat> Rex Viper, move over. <laughs> now, I'm not interested in starting a band, and I'm also not interested in these instruments. Who is interested in this stuff? Uh, anyway, well, these games, or PC games, CDs, aren't very lonely. A stack of PlayStation 2 games. Well, look at that. I'm very glad that I decided not to do that Franken game that was suggested a couple of videos ago. Because I would have been wasted in the thrift store. Soccer game, soccer game, soccer game. Not FIFA, but soccer nonetheless. But there's actually one good game in this lot. Freedom Fighters. I already have two copies of Freedom Fighters for two different systems, otherwise I would have bought that one in a heartbeat for only one euro. That's a lot of gameplay for one euro. Um, yeah, steering wheels. Most of the times these are for the PC, you see them all the time in the thrift stores. This Ferrari one isn't that interesting to me. This other one, however, I find very interesting. Never seen or heard of Computitor before. But um, yeah, I guess it's for the PlayStation 1, not 2. It could be for racing games, but maybe also for flight simulators or... F I don't know. Never seen it before. Hey, let me know in the comments. Do you own this one? We are moving away from the video games for now and we're checking out board games. Atmosphere. I already own a copy of this. The VHS version, that is the superior version, in my opinion. Big Brain, well, we have the board game and the DS game in one video. <laughs> what else do you want? Uh, Town. nice artwork, don't know what the game is about. Um, what else do we have here? Hero Quest? No, no Hero Quest. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, check this out. This is interesting. You must be playing Splash. It's Splash when you don't just beat your opponent. 
opponents, you black nerds. That hurts. Make your bucks. Race to the cookies. If you're lucky, you'll get there. If not... Look, Ma, I'm roadkill. Life got your fat. I win! Splat! Splat! <laughs> uh, pots, but the American version, or the English version, is called Splat. They made a board games episode about this board game. Ah, yeah. For fun 50, I'm picking this one on up. It would be amazing to play this one with the kids. Um, it's just like Mousetrap, they don't want to play the game, they just want to splat. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I've never found Hero Quest in a thrift store, but here we have the next best thing Dungeons and Dragons. The only thing I don't like about this board game is the name. Dungeons and Dragons reminds me of that cartoon from the 80s. Well, two, two euros? <laughs> this find just got even better. I don't know if it is complete. At first sight it seems to be complete. But even if it's not complete, two euros, I'm picking this one up. Time for another blast from the past in the frisk store. Here we have for 250 a portable CD player. Well, these comics of Urbanus are great, but I have to temper my collections. <laughs> uh, and it's not potting a code, so I guess I'll leave these in the store. I might have passed on the Urbanus comics, but I'm definitely not passing on these Turtle comics. They are amazing. They bring back so much childhood memories for me. Playing at the school with my friends and reading these comics. And yes, these comics started out as promotional material for the action figures. There were action figures on the front, there were action figures on the back. They had prizes that you could win, action figures of course. And later on, these comics actually became good and they drifted away from the promotional action hey, figure material. Besides Turtle comics, there are also Bumsa comics here. I never knew there were Bumsa comics. I only know Bumsa from the very rare PAL exclusive Game Boy game. It's also very valuable. I believe it's around 100 euros. Could be wrong, but I believe it's a uh, Scandinavian exclusive also. And here we have a Panini sticker album. Another childhood memory for me. I have Panini albums from the Transformers, G.I. Joe, uh, WWF, Mario. The Panini is still around. And I believe they only make stickers, uh, albums of soccer these days. It's theme park. A big box PC game. Picking that one up for only one euro and twenty-five cents. My wife actually likes these kinds of games, those uh, zoo and theme park sim games. Ultima one and two for the PC. I wonder if these games are connected to the NES version. I never played it, but there is an Ultima game for the NES. It's an American exclusive. This seems like a cool RPG set. <laughs> wow. And pretty damn cheap, so uh, I'm buying it. Yikes! That's a big troll. Always keep your eyes open. You might have guessed it on my Instagram page, but look at that. A ZX Spectrum. Or maybe it's just the box. Decided not to go after it. Not really my cup of tea. My last pickup is an interesting one and one that I don't make that often. It's a G.I. Joe plane or better said a Cobra plane. This plane is definitely not complete. It has seen better days but for 1 euro and 25 cents I'm picking it up. And I also saw a Starscream figure and I thought it was a reproduction 
or one of those McDonald's figures. But I took a closer look and it's actually from the 80s and of course the Starscream. So I decided to put that one in a plane, walk to the counter and for some reason I paid one euro for a doll. Yeah, go figure. So untrue, tell me what will I do? 